how many VCs, Vulture Capitals, are there in Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex? Zero. How many exchanges were bribed with Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex liquidity coins to go dump on everyone? Zero. None of them were bribed. How many insiders are there in the Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex ecosystem? Zero. There are no insiders. How much of the allocation of all the coins was given to esteemed individuals, BS marketing treasuries, and all the other insiders and secret poopy heads? Zero. There were no special privileges. There were no special allocations. And yet still, we are early. Because how many of the public crypto mainstream influencers will publicly come out and say that they like Richard Hart? Zero. The exchanges hate him. The exchanges hate us. The mainstream crypto influencers hate him. They hate us too. Everyone hates us. And what that means is there's opportunity. Still, because... We went minus 99% down and they still couldn't kill us. We have mind share. We occupy real estate in all of crypto industries' minds. And they've reserved that spot for hatred. But let me tell you this. I think crypto people aren't really as hateful as they claim. I think when they talk about hate, They're really talking about red candles. So I think now that the candles are green, we're going to see a switch. We're going to see some people flip from hate to kind of hate to neutral to like to love. And then I can't live without it. And that's your 100x opportunity. Pulse chain, pulse X and hex. I don't know how far they go. Don't bother asking. There's going to be a big shock to the system when everyone realizes that they've been doing crypto wrong. They are participating in VC insider grifts made for soy boys by soy boys. Their goal is to give the coins to the market makers on the exchanges Let everybody get happy with the low float scam of the pump. And then when no one's looking, they unlock the coins and slowly OTC sell out. Because they don't even believe in their own technology. Crypto is like real estate. Michael Chad Saylor. Bitcoin is digital New York real estate. Pew, pew, pew. Laser eyes. It's true. Ethereum can be thought of like New York City. It's okay for there to be another New York City, friends. But it doesn't start as New York City. It starts as a little cabin by the woods. There's some tigers and some lions rolling around. That's how it starts. So this is our chance to be early. Now, here's the thing. Everyone tells us we're early. Are we always early? No. Many scams and grifts out there exist. And everyone says, golly gee, we're the shiny new thing. Please come join us. I don't know how the future goes, but I can tell you right now to ignore the 140 content creators in Pulse Chain and to ignore the 68 streamers and to ignore Maddie Allen literally making a Hex conference and Pulse Chain conference every single freaking year to ignore all of them and tell me, hey, college, gee, I'm just going to fade it and move away. You're playing it wrong. So I'm not promising you anything. This is not financial advice, okay? But there's an opportunity here. And the opportunity is for you to come and sail on the friendship. There are many other Layer 1 chains, friends, and they have paved the way for other alternative Layer 1s. Ethereum is beautiful. Ethereum is great. EVM has basically won the standard. Maybe the game's not over. But for now, we can see EVM is very popular. When we look to other chains, you can see similarities and patterns. The thing with the other chains, though, is a lot of them are older. For example, Cardanzo is now in its third cycle. 
Cardanzo has 50,000 daily active users today. Look at these, these are real numbers, 50,000, all right? Pulse Chain has around 13,000. And these are not just bots. These are actual people. You can see these. This is daily active wallets here. Today is 17,000. It's starting to move up. And we know from Metcalf's law, if Pulse Chain got to Cardanzo's daily active user base, that's a 3.8x. But the beautiful part about our friendship is then I can tell you Metcalf's law and the value of a network to get the value increase, the price increase, the size of the big, fat, thick, juicy green candle, it's not 3.8x. It's 3.8x squared. You will get the number 14.7x. Not financial advice, friends. You're literally listening to somebody who wears a fake captain's hat on the internet. Go buy the government bonds. That's what they want you to do. I like my imaginary Ponzi internet money. That's just me. Please keep your back straight while I'll tell you the next part. You see, if everything works off Metcalf's law, and it's all about the number of people out there who could come in, I would like to ask you this question, friends. How many people are there who own Bitcoin? The answer is 219 million. Do you want to know what would happen to Bitcoin for it to get a 100x price growth? You would need 2.2 billion people to onboard it. Do you think there are 2.2 billion people still out there sitting who want to buy a coin with a unit bias problem where it's now $40,000, $50,000, a coin that you can't buy JPEGs on, that you can't swap things on, that you can't move around, that you can't yield farm, you can't do any of these smart contract applications, you can't be early to ICO projects, you can't trade, you can't participate in a casino or own the casino, and all the other millions of things coming out there, do you really think those 2, million, 2 billion people who have, who have heard of Bitcoin, mind you, they have because of Elon Musk telling them about it three years ago, do you think they're out there waiting. They go, oh, I can't wait. I'm a third world country person. I live in Uganda. I just can't wait to give you my $480, my life savings, so I can put it into Bitcoin. You got to think with your brain, friends, because I don't have a brain. It's a peanut brain. It's a little peanut. These people out there, the truth is they've seen Bitcoin. They don't like it. It's got nothing for them. Why? Because they're not early we are all like cities. Bitcoin was the first city. It's a little pirate island with a big lump of gold on it. And the people who were able to mine Bitcoin at the start killed it. There are people out there like Max Kaiser with 100,000 Bitcoin that they got for $1. Many people were able to buy Bitcoin at 10 cents, a dollar, $10, $100. Even I got in at $3,150. But now you've got to open your eyes. The game is done mostly for the retail population game. Now their next grift <laughs> is to trick another government besides El Salvador to adopt it. This is a bigger boss. It's slower to conquer. The price pump slows down. These countries already have all the power within their states. They don't need to come market, buy, and print infinite money to go buy it, okay? So you put Bitcoin aside. You go, golly gee, you are great for a portfolio. Yes, you might be blue chip. You might have less volatility on the downside, which is fantastic. But you can't deny the upside has changed. Now we have Ethereum. Were you in on the Ethereum ICO? Because I wasn't. Ethereum is up 7,100x from its ICO. Ethereum is New York, it's expensive, it sells block space. Because New York exists, friends, would you then dare to say we don't need another city in the world anymore? We've got New York. No. So there is a lot of opportunity. 
That's why I've even shown you, for example, Cardanzo is not even an EVM, Ethereum friendly. It's got 50,000 daily users today. People flipping JPEGs. You can only do like two transactions a second. Pulse Chain only has 13,000 daily active users. If we match Cardanzo, that's a 14x away from today. That's Cardanzo. Imagine when people realize, oh my gosh, I want to own a coin with no secret VCs, no secret unlocks. The main heartbeat of the Pulse Chain ecosystem is PulseX, the world's best casino. Why? Because you can own a piece of it. If you own it, not financial advice, you can go and see real stats and you can see that he has just ticked to buy 3.2% of the total non-origin address circulating coins. 657 billion PulseX was sitting on the supermarket shelf and with every trade, the economic activity, it's been bought up. So that's why this ecosystem excites everyone because everyone's like, you know what? We may not have the greatest tech or invented anything really new or any of these other jizz jazz. It doesn't matter. What matters is the people in the network. You see, friends, even in the internet, with the protocols we use today, there were better ones invented after it. It was just that the cost to switch in everyone's mind was so high, no one really cared. And they just dealt with it. Maybe we're witnessing it today. But there are a lot of EVMs. So what separates Pulse Chain from everything else? Well, I just told you. If we know it's not about the technology and the community is the asset, not the code, then maybe, friends, you have to study the rails of marketing, branding, influences, the voice channels, more than the code. Simply put, you can go onto Twitter. I've done all the hard work for you, friends. I know you like it long and hard. Family friendly show, like, subscribe. I have been watching like an atomic clock every day, wink, wink, the number of followers on all the Pulse Chain, PulseX, and Hex influencers and community members, I've been watching it rise like a step case every single month. Every, every single one, friends. I mean everyone. Okay, ain't going backwards. And I remember the power of one Schiller in 2021 and all the stories I would hear about one person talks about one coin and the crowd just rushes in and they all go, go, go get grifted after one each other, all right? They just go fall over each other, roll over each other, go buy a pump and a dump scam and, and get wrecked. What if in this upcoming bull market, there are 30 Pulse Chain, Pulse X and Hex Twitter channels, YouTube channels that have all grown together with the loudest megaphone in crypto? 